So sexual violence is an intolerable, violent crime that many, have many health implications that impact nearly every one of us in the state of Michigan in some way. For survivors, we know a path to healing may vary greatly from survivor to survivor. It's absolutely crucial that we remember these individuals and their unique needs. Specialized comprehensive sexual assault programs offer support, counseling, advocacy, and other essential services to help those who need healing, who have experienced the trauma, trauma of sexual violence. Currently, Michigan appropriates fundings to these programs through grants. However, the funding for these grants solely come from federal sources. Unfortunately, we only receive enough funding from the federal government to cover 33 of our 83 counties in Michigan, which leads us with an incredible 50 county gap. Many of my colleagues, this includes many of my colleagues' districts, especially those in rural Michigan, that do not have access to any sexual assault or domestic violence, violence shelters or resource centers. And this month, we recognize April as Sexual Assault Awareness Month in the state of Michigan. And I sincerely appreciate my colleagues' support for that resolution in raising awareness, preventing sexual violence, and supporting survivors. But today, we can do more. Statistics show one in six women will be a victim of sexual assault in her lifetime. This also impacts men, children, individuals of all racial, cultural, and economic backgrounds. In, a, in our state, with just under 10 million people, it's extremely disheartening that, though, that due to lack of funding, there are only 18 specialized sexual assault comprehensive services programs that receive grants. As such, my amendment would add a $2 million state funding to the rape prevention and services line item in the DHHS budget. We have an incredible opportunity to be the very first legislative body in Michigan that appropriates general fund dollars to, to the rape prevention services line item. Right, that's right, the very first legislative body. And with close to $283 million surplus still left on the balance sheet, we can do more to help support survivors of sexual assault. And access to these critical services are imperative. And today we can stand together and lead the country and stand up to ending sexual violence, provide hope and support services need, and that survivors can heal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative. The question before the House is on adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted. <laughs>